My name is Marek Renkas and I am a professor at the Department of Ophthalmology at Military Institute of Medicine in Warsaw and also Poland's national consultant in ophthalmology. I have over 20 years of experience in glaucoma surgery using a variety of methods, filtering procedures, tubes, canaloplasty and microinvasive glaucoma surgery. Canaloplasty is an option in the treatment of open organ glaucoma and results in satisfying intraocular pressure level with lower damage to ocular tissue as compared to trabeculectomy. It can be performed in patients with mild to moderate glaucoma with higher risk of blep filura. I believe canaloplasty is a link between microinvasive glaucoma surgery and filtering surgery. Canaloplasty addresses size of pathological resistance through enhancement of natural outflow pathways. To achieve success, it is therefore crucial to assess patency of the distal outflow. In the background, we present a surgical technique of the classic form of canaloplasty. Canaloplasty is a surgical procedure that has been in constant evolution since its introduction in 2005. This article describes the canaloplasty and modifications to the procedure as follows. Standard canaloplasty. Catheterless canaloplasty. Canaloplasty with glaucolite. Canaloplasty with suprachoroidal drainage. Mini canaloplasty. Canaloplasty ab interno. This paper covers the surgical techniques and efficacy of each procedure. We would like to focus on two surgical modifications the first of which is named mini-canaloplasty and was proposed at Military Institute in Warsaw. In mini-canaloplasty, we modify the size of both scleral flaps. The superficial flap is 4.0 by 1.5 mm in size and the deep flap is 1.0 by 1.0 mm. After accessing Schlem's canal with a NAP external approach, it is catheterized with nitrac probe and during its withdrawal, Viscoelastic is released for every two hours of the canal circumference. A tensioning suture is then pulled as in the standard canaloplasty. The main difference in mini canaloplasty is that the deep scleral flap is not excised, and no intrascleral lake or trabecular decimase membrane is dissected. The small superficial flap eliminates the need for suturing it. The conjunctiva can be closed with absorbable sutures or cautery. The main advantages of this method are shorter time of surgery, less trauma to the tissue, and no need for scleral excision or suturing. However, lack of intrascleral lake may result in no alternative pathways of aqueous outflow. The second technique presented is ab internal canaloplasty. Schlem's canal in ABIC is reached from within the anterior chamber through a self-sealing temporal clear corneal incision. The canal is accessed under gonioscopic view through a goniotomy. The eye track is guided into the canal and advanced circumferentially. After 360 degrees cannulation, the catheter is withdrawn as the viscoelastic is injected simultaneously. The proline suture placement is omitted in this method. Thank you. For more details, we invite you to read our review.